All right, hello. So this is just going to be a follow-up video of my Ancestry DNA results thing. Um, I took a few other tests in the past few months or so, and I'm going to compare those results to uh, Ancestry and see how they kind of correlate with one another. Uh, I've meant to make this video for a while now, but I guess it was just like, I don't know, laziness, and I'm kind of not really used to the whole talking thing. So again, bear with me. Um, which, let's just like jump right into it. So uh, I did say in my last video that I'm mostly Irish, Scottish, uh, with some German and some English, with a little bit of Native American, um, and Ancestry kind of, uh, proved that, except there were a few surprises. So, I'm gonna show you on my computer screen right now, and I, you know, kind of tell you the uh, results of each, uh, test and see how they compare. Okay, so what you're seeing here is Ancestry, and they obviously, like, changed the layout ever since, um my last video and they've kind of like added in a new a uh, few new things like migrations or like uh, genetic communities I think that's what they're called um, so it says right here central Appalachia settlers and Ohio River Valley and it kind of or yeah like India Illinois and Iowa settlers as well so you can kind of like um, see that they uh, connect with the uh, regions that your um, breakdown is from too so I think that's a uh, really cool to do but I'm gonna compare all these results to others so my heritage 23 me and family tree DNA and by the way this is a uh, ancestry transfer so yeah uh, start off with my heritage um all right so you can see here that uh, the percentages are obviously different though that's because like each test kind of uses different uh, technologies and strategies to like break down your DNA so it's not surprising that you will get uh, different results. So it says right here, um, Europe is obviously 100%. Uh, North and West Europe, 83.3%. And that the breakdown is Irish, Scottish, and Welsh, 44.1%. You can kind of see right here that uh, it's 17%. Um, Scandinavian, 25.4%. I got 9% on uh, um, Ancestry. In English, which is kind of like Great Britain, 13.8. Um, and the interesting thing here, uh, South Europe, 16.7%. And if you see here, uh, Europe South, which is basically Italy, Greece, is uh, 11%. But the breakdown is a little bit different. Sardinian, which is an Italian-like um, region, but I found out that Sardinians aren't really genetically closer to Italians as they're more like Spanish. I don't know, I could be entirely wrong, but yeah, 13.7 for a Sardinian and Iberian for 3%. So I did not have any Iberian on here, but I do have some here and Italian isn't exactly shown up. So when I click this, um, this uh, button over here, this tool thing, I can, you know, kind of change my settings a little bit and go to 0.9 beta and see how those res uh, results correspond to that, uh, the other. So, North and West Europe is 89.3%. British and Irish is uh, linked up together with 56.2%. Scandinavian, 22.5%. And I think the other one was like 24 or 25, I think. Yeah, 25. North and West European, which is... Uh, French and German, which was not on the other um, model, it's uh, at 10.6%. However, it says here that's at 2%. And if we go to South Europe, this is a little um, lower than the other uh, model. Sardinian, 6.8%, and Italian, 3.9%. So no Iberian on the other model, but Italian on this one and no Italian on the other. But we do have like a significant amount of Sardinian on both. And, and, not only that, I've also uh, transferred my 23andMe and my Ancestry um, raw data file to uh, my heritage, And it's kind of like the same thing. Um, Irish, Scottish, and Welsh, 42.5. Scandinavian, 28.4. English, 12.2. Sardinian, 16. And Iberian, 0.9. Um... And it's basically uh, the same uh, regions here as well. So 42 for Irish, Scottish, and Welsh. 
30.2, which is kind of interesting for Scandinavian, and 7.9 for English, Sardinian 15.6, and Iberian 4.3. And uh, that's kind of how um, my heritage breaks down my uh, DNA. Just kind of change that back so you can kind of get the idea. This shit is slow. Okay. All right, so we have a uh, 23andMe, and it says right here, uh, European 99.8% and East Asian and Native American less than 0.1%. I did say in my last video, I think, that I was a descendant of Pocahontas and uh, John Rolfe, I think. Yeah, I think that's what who uh, she was married to and had a kid with. But it's a very, very, like, insignificant... Um, amount and it says right here that uh Yakuts, which I did not know until I read this uh right here and if you look at the region it's like this part of uh Russia it's like West Russia or something um which is very interesting so for the European breakdown Northwestern European uh, hold on 96.6 percent uh and the breakdown of that is British and Irish, 58.9, French and German, 12.1, Scandinavian, 1.1, broadly Northwestern European, 24.5, and Southern European, and, you know, broadly Southern European is, you know, both 1.9 and broadly European is 1.3. Um, and I think that's kind of interesting how, like, you know, this, um, can somewhat correlate to, like, uh, this, uh, well... Kind of, uh, not really, but, um, if we kind of look back at the, uh, 0.9 beta right here, that, uh, French and German is somewhat a little close to, um, the, uh, French and German here. It's 10.6%, whereas this is, like, uh, 12.1, and says right here it's 2%. And so if we go on to uh, family tree DNA, um, this one's a little bit more vague, kind of like 23andMe, but yeah. 50% for British Isles, West and Central Europe, which is uh, French and German, 27%. Scandinavia, 14%. And Southeast Europe, which is basically Italy and Greece at uh, 10%. Another thing that I've noticed is that each one of these tests is that I have a significant amount of Southern European. And I think I said this in my last video as well, that I had no indication that any of my ancestors were from Italy or Greece or anywhere from Southern Europe. Although, in my um, ancestry reports, if I go back... Oh, I have to sign in. Shit. Okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> Alright, so my maternal group is H1. And that, that kind of um, uh, correlates with the, uh, like the um, Northwest, like European uh, part. And um, EV13 is uh, my paternal haplogroup. group. And that's, like, originated in, like, the Balkan area, like, around, like, Greece. Which I find to be pretty, uh, interesting. Um, yeah, uh, that's about it. Peace out.